Hello everybody, Michael here today and I'm going to show you how to create a user in MySQL. So, let's see what I have here. I have a lot of code behind me, so this is, as you might assume, some SQL code. And it's all used to create users in MySQL. So what do we need this user for? Well, usually we sort of... Uh, I'm going to create uh, and run the uh, terminal program here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I have a setup. So I'm just logging with the default user here. So I can see what kind of user I am in here when I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm some kind of user DB add at localhost. So that is me currently. But now I for some reason want to create a new user. I'm going to use this user when I develop some uh, application programs and then I want to have sort of perhaps specific sort of uh, uh, permissions for this user and uh, I want to control that so I don't want the application programs to use my sort of db adam user that seems rather strange no so uh, let's see so i'm gonna go out of there i'm gonna clear my screen and i want to go in here doing something like user maria and then i'm gonna have a password and this password gonna be like password with some strange uh, there nobody can remember nobody knows that password so that's safe so I want that to work, but hmm, I don't have that. It well, it seems like I don't have that user here for now. So I'm gonna go on and create it. So let's see what I have back here on uh, on the screen there. So here we have code to manage a user. So obviously we are sort of uh, working with the user, sort of a database object. The information about the users are stored in the database table. And as a database object, I can create it, I can drop it. So this is a file I have here, and I usually sort of want to be able to run all the commands in this file like this at the same time over and over again. And that's why it has this structure. But we can let, let's see here. So I obviously I'm going to go for two users here. So I don't need to drop them now because they don't exist. So let's move on. We're gonna create them. So I'm gonna create user Maria. Uh, I'm gonna give them identified by a certain password. And this Maria, I will allow that user to log in from a specific host. So I'm gonna create two, two users because I use the database from very different applications, very different terminals. And they sort of, eventually they have a sort of different versions of the MySQL program in them. And they sort of need to connect in different ways. So I will, I need to have both these. So let's see what these are. So the first user I'm going to create there. Okay, so I'm going to log in. If I'm going to create the user, I need to be logged into the database. There we go. Okay. So the first one there is Maria, and it's going to be from the local host. So that means when I am on the same host as my database server, then this user will be used. So I'm going to copy that down and just going to create that. Fine, query, OK, zeros affected, nice. So I do hope that's created now. At least I didn't give an error message, so that's usually fine then. Then I want to create another user. So I'm going to give Maria the possibility to log in from any machine that really can access my database server. So that is this is the percent sign that that's from any machine. But then isn't localhost included in any machine? Oh, it should, but sometimes it isn't. And for my personal setup, I use both my SQL database, MariaDB uh, database, and a lot of different terminals. And on some terminals, localhost is not included there. So that's why I'm gonna go with this. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna create the user there. 
Fine, excellent. So now we have users Maria in the database, but I would also like to grant this user a set of sort of uh, privileges, uh, something that they can do or not. So I'm gonna grant, I'm gonna be generous today, so I'm gonna grant the Maria at localhost and at percent, I'm gonna grant that user all privileges like that. So that means the user can do pretty much like everything. So it's basically root user. So I'm gonna have that, this is my development environment. I don't want to have any sort of trouble with privileges currently, so I'm just gonna give them all for the moment. If this were sort of in a, in a production environment where I had a sort of database application out there, I would reduce the privileges that that the user got, so I'm only going to sort of restrain it. Perhaps, perhaps the user could only read my tables, couldn't create any data in it. So then I would sort of update this. But now we're going to go with everything. I'm also going to go with the grant option there. It's not really needed, but that will let the user create new users or let the users create provide privileges to other users to the same extent that this user have. So it has the sort of right to grant other users uh, permissions to use the database. So I'm gonna go with both those. So I'm gonna copy both those and just run them and let's see, yes, zero zeros, nice. Um, I can do this if I want to. So this is going to sort of flush the privileges. So when I updated it, it I'm gonna make them immediately happen. So I can do that now. Uh, okay, good. So we could see what kind of user I am here. I am DBM, okay. That's nice. Uh, maybe we could sort of log out and see if this works then. Okay, so clear the screen. There we go. So let's go with MySQL minus U for Maria and minus P. And let's spell out the password so you see what it looks like. Minus P password. There we go. Yes. So it worked. Select user. So I am currently logged in as Maria at localhost. I'm running the database on the same machine I'm logging in here. So it seems to work. Okay, good. So we could also show the grants, but it's it's a lot of messy output. So that is showing the grants for the current user I am. So this is a large output to say, okay, this user can do a lot of things. So here we can see sort of create temporary tables, lock table, execute. Oh, so it's a lot of sort of, a lot of things. We can just sort of leave them be for now. We're not gonna dig into that more in detail now. That was sort of what was behind all the privileges. Um, so it seems to be working, right? The final thing here, so this one could be good, show users in the database. So if we eventually, we forget what kind of users we have in this database and we want to see, then we can sort of take that command and run it oops let's do it once more we can i can i can print it can i clear the screen no i can't clear the screen okay sorry i'm gonna do like this so i'm gonna use my sql so that is the sort of built-in database for the administrative object that is in MySQL. So I wanted to do select user from user from user, something like that. Okay, select user. Let's make it a bit nicer. Select. There we go. Okay, so I have these users. Uh, let's order them, order by users, like that. Uh, order by user. Okay, so we have DBM, we see we have the Maria DB there. Uh, we also want to see what kind of host can this user log into. So we're gonna add the sort of column host there. There we go. 
Okay, so we have a user from Maria from any host and we have it from the local host. So basically we are all set up and we could log in with our new users. So uh, well, we're done. So thanks for watching. Now you can create your own users. Okay, bye bye.